I was co-founder of the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which uh, started off as uh, looking at privacy issues around electronic media and uh, looking at how the government interacted with computers. For example, the government was arguing that if you had records in a computer, they could come in with a warrant and seize the entire computer and all the records in it. Whereas they wouldn't make the same argument about if you had a bank of file cabinets. You know, they would get a warrant and come in and just get the few documents that actually mattered to the investigation. But either because of ignorance about how computers worked in some cases or an attempt to increase their powers based on changes in the world, um, there were a lot of attempts to say, oh, well, computers are different, therefore we have to have more powers around computers. And we acted in many cases to slow that down, point it out, educate the public, educate policymakers, and in some cases sue or defend lawsuits to validate people's rights, such that if you're doing your work in electronic media, on a computer, on the internet, you get the same kind of protections you get for doing that in non-electronic media. If you're doing something in video, it's the same as the rules for film. If you're doing something in a word processor, it's the same as the rules for writing out a document, etc.